Queen of Peace High School. Today it sits empty, a shell of its former self, much like the woman who 35 years ago led the Packers to greatness. The daughter of a tile king, her basketball career had humble beginnings, watching other players fight over a loose ball, taking three steps instead of two, and tripping over her own two feet. But what if I told you that this caterpillar would blossom into a butterfly, becoming one of the top 97 players in Queen of Peace history? WGN presents Nine for Nine, the Robin Baumgarten story. For most basketball greats, there's one singular moment that defines them. Michael Jordan's flu game. LeBron James block in game seven. LeBron James with the rejection. But for some, there are so many moments, choosing the best is near impossible. Are there any specific games where you remember her just playing particularly well. <sighs> Take your time. That's going back many years. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say she came off the bench one game. I don't remember what team we were playing, but uh, she was in the paint and uh, she scored quite a bit. You had to really go back in the well for that I one. I did, huh? I yeah. did, I did. But statistics only tell part of the story. Robin was a presence in the paint. She was intimidating. She was very intimidating. I think it was a combination of the hair, the mouthpiece that she wore, the knee pads. So she wore a mouthpiece. Boy, that must have been great to have her speech muffled and her being unable to talk so often. Boy, hold on a second. I just wanna, I wanna close my eyes and imagine that. I just wanna. Watching her back then, did you think one day she would take that skill of being completely stationary in the paint and apply that also to being on her couch? Stationary in the paint where... Right, she didn't move a lot in the paint. No. And now she doesn't move a lot on her couch. She doesn't like wasting energy. And Robin also didn't like wasting words, but when she spoke, it was impactful. She was always had a positive outlook. So when we were down... I'm sorry, can we... Positive. Outlook. Robin, can you remember any particular speeches she gave that were particularly inspiring? I believe she gave a speech when we were seniors. Um, I don't recall the content of it. So it left an impression. Until now, no recording of that speech existed. But WGN has obtained this exclusive recording of it. Incredible. Further research unearthed these candid recordings as well. Listen, I know we're down by 45, but I'm not saying. I'm just saying. We could come back. Great game, ladies. Great job. But let's hurry up. I got to get home and make dinner. I hate making dinner. Of course, no success story is without hardships. There were some who said that she may have been able to go Division I had she not been cursed with those weak Baumgarten ankles. Yes, she had a hard time with her ankles. She'd roll her ankle here or there. It was, might not be a bad sprain, but she still got up and she wanted to play. The house that Robin built may be no more, but her legend, much like the asbestos left over, will linger for years. She's a person that is easygoing, enjoyable to be around. Yeah. Easygoing is a word I would absolutely not use to describe her. <laughs> not use? Or no, no, use. I said I, I would use, use, but use. I would not use. I would, I would not use. I would use. Okay, yeah. okay. Could you have ever imagined she would ascend to be the morning news queen of Chicago? Never in a million years. On the next Nine for Nine, join us as we look back on a legendary boxing career. 
Brawling for Boston, The Larry Potash Story, Saturday at 10.30 after Backstory.